Big lift on takeoff. Arms go around. Eyes up. Hands forward. I'm kind of living all these lives at the same time. I have like four lives that I'm living at the same time. Secretly, I'm 60 years old, combined experience-wise. No, but that's why every minute counts, you know what I mean? We're just going, going, going. There's very little wasted time. So it's good. It's a good thing. <laughs> and the next two years, I would say, are huge for me. Besides all of the actual contests that I'm working towards, X Games, World Championships, all of those big goals, I still want to retain a sense of self. And also, not for, don't forget to be a teenager, because I am 17, and it is important to do teenager things. My high school's field, it's called Paul Good Field. This is where we met every day for cross country training after school. A lot of great memories here. I actually was deciding between skiing and running. Like I was very close to like picking running over skiing as a sophomore when I got invited to my first World Cup versus our state championship. For me, my biggest dream was always to go to Stanford and so I was like maybe if I like run really well, maybe I can like run into Stanford or run into like another really great school. But eventually I actually ended up going to the World Cup last minute. It gave me more perspective, I'm like wow, I might actually be able to make it in skiing. And then after I kind of got that hope and that spark, I started going on that path. And I'm glad that I did, because being a professional runner is really, really hard. School was definitely always my number one priority. I've always taken it very seriously and I think my household has always placed a really large emphasis on school. When I was four, my grandma taught me three digit by three digit multiplication and division. For skiing, when I was in middle school, like some of my friends were starting to consider homeschool or ski schools or whatever, like alternative types of education. My mom was very firm on that and I'm glad that she was because I'm, I'm happy with the education that I received and also the normal school experience because I think that was really important to have like a full class of kids where none of them skied and none of them knew what I was doing and I wasn't known as Eileen the skier. It's just Eileen from math class or whatever and so that's really refreshing as well. Eileen F. Gu. I graduated a year early so that I could compete and train for this season and then the Olympics the season after. So I'm taking a gap year after this. I'll actually be out of school for two years. So hopefully I remember things when I actually get into school in the fall of 2022. We'll see. Today is the day. Today is December 11th. And for those of you who don't know, that is the day that Stanford releases their restrictive early action um, decisions. So this is my dream school. It's the school that I have literally wanted to go to since I was six years old. And it's the only dream that I've had for longer than my dream of going to the Olympics. <laughs> I got in! Oh my god, I got in! I live with my grandma, my mom, and my two cats, which are the loves of my life. This is, this is the shrine, and we can kind of see all of my younger medals, including my, my track and field medals. My mom is from Beijing, my grandpa is from Shanghai, and my grandma is from Nanjing. Nanjing. I'm fluent in Mandarin, so that's always been a huge part of my life, being able to have a secret language with my mom wherever we go. My grandma is definitely the chef of the household. You will always be able to find her chefing it up in the kitchen. 
She's got a number of specialty dishes, but I think the dumpling making is one of our favorite. One of my favorite. It's not just about eating, it's the family, community, the hanging out, everybody's, yeah, contributing. It's a community situation. Teamwork, woo! Good idea. She said it couldn't be done. And look who did it. Floating. Mm. It's very good. I love dumplings. I always feel a little bit sad to leave. And even though I'm really excited, always to go skiing or to go competing. There's just some kind of like a little bit of melancholy, you know what I mean? But it goes away quickly and I'm definitely really excited to head to Aspen. I know you don't really like seeing switch right as much. Yeah, thanks. You know? Yeah. So use the days like this where it doesn't matter if we go switch left or right because we can't go big. Yeah. Build the confidence that when it comes sunny then we can start elevating it. The plan is to ski switch over the right shoulder and hopefully make it up the wall. <laughs> <laughs> as far as cloudy weather days go, today's actually been a really good one. I mean, when you're competing, you never know what conditions are gonna be like. You always have to be able to change your run and also be able to perform in any weather condition. We can't guarantee the weather is gonna be perfect and we can't control it, so we run the contests on the days that they're scheduled and whoever can perform on that day comes yeah. out on top. Good morning. It is currently 7.55. I got out of bed like five minutes ago and we are about to go live with Olympic Channel. Yesterday I was doing a bunch of media and I figured out that this is the best spot for lighting and also background so I kind of just have to kneel here the whole time because if I have a chair then it's too high. This is like genuinely, I thought it was so funny when I first got it. I was like, I'm such an influencer now, look at me with my ring light. I do that because I don't have blush so I kind of just slap myself and make it work. So let's bring her on in. Oh my god. Hey everyone! So nice to talk to you again. Oh my gosh, it's been like a year. Or I am one of the younger people on the circuit. And so like, even though I've competed a lot now, but I still think of myself, you know, as like the rookie and like the underdog. So in my bio was graduated high school early and got into Stanford. <laughs> And I was like, I look like such a nerd. Like, this is so funny. Stay safe. Thank you so much. Woo, okay, my back is so sore because I've been weird position <laughs> kneeling but that was so fun um being able to see all the comments and interact with people i think was was really cool and people are so supportive when i do this trick sometimes i have a tendency to grab early because that's kind of what i do in slope i like just use the grab to get me around but in pipe you can't do that because you don't want a deck to get up and be patient and get around and then cross and grab set it a little harder and then land hands in front that's the goal grab it. Yeah. we just did a cork nine blunt and it was a lot of fun and i'm gonna see if i can do it again and put a little bit more flip in it About a month ago, I, I just landed really heavily, like, just directly on it. You okay? It's like, I can feel it right now. It's like, here-ish. Okay. Tinder there? Yeah. Yeah, that. 
It feels like there is a very restricted tight band of tissue just right under my thumb there. I agree. The reach forward is a killer. This is a pretty minor injury, I know, um, but like obviously I don't want to hurt my shoulders, so got to be careful with that. And with that, we will be starting training tomorrow morning. The move is we're going to try a seven with Octo. It is a twister game. Um, we'll see if I get it. Let's go. Yeah, that's like, that's it's, it's, not, it's not too far off. <laughs> Training is so important because it just builds that confidence to be able to actually land the trick and focus on the nerves of the competition rather than the nerves of the actual technique. Honestly, just really excited to be here. It's my first X Games. So I've been working on this pipe run all season. I feel really good about it. I feel confident. I just, I need to go and do it. I need to go lay it down.